Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In one of my very first videos I talked about Markdown, what it is and how it helps you to add formatting to plain text. I will leave the link to that video in the description down below. And in that video I also showed you how to create tables using Markdown. And it was like this. Pipe, header 1, pipe, header 2, pipe, enter, pipe, dash, 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 pipe, dash, 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 pipe, enter, pipe, item 1, pipe, item 2, pipe. Yes, it was a slow and clunky method, but Obsidian a couple of weeks ago released its brand new editor for tables. At the moment, it's available only for early access, and that's why I decided to make this video so you can have an idea on how it looks like. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. First of all, now you can create a table by simply open the command palette with Ctrl P or Command P and click on Insert Table. Easy, right? We can name the columns as first column and second column. And I add a couple of items. So, left item, right item, another item, and item to right. Now, if you right click on the table, in the context menu, you can see all the table features. Let's start from the rows. You can add a row before or after. Let's name it top left item, top right item, bottom left item, bottom right item. You can also add a row by clicking here under the last one. You can move rows up and down. And you can also do that by simply drag and drop them. You can duplicate a row or delete one. You can basically do the same things with the columns. You can add a column before or after and just add some values inside. And as it was for the rows, you can add a column by clicking here after the last one. You can move columns left or right. And you can do the same by drag and drop them. You can change the alignment of a column. You can duplicate columns or just delete them. Lastly, you can sort your data in ascending or descending order. Okay, now if I switch to the read view, as you can see, my table is wide as the line width. And maybe you also noticed that the color of the rows is alternated. To customize my tables, I use two community plugins. One of them, since I use the minimal theme, is minimal theme settings. And the other one is style settings that provides an intuitive settings panel where I can configure various Obsidian options without writing a single line of CSS. This improvement has been long awaited and the Obsidian team did an amazing job on that. And this is one of the great improvements they have planned to do. If you want to take a look at the Obsidian roadmap, I will leave the link in the description down below. And that's all for today, folks. Remember to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server for more productivity, PKM and not taking content. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, Stay productive.